class 8 science and the name of the lesson is synthetic fibers and plastic in the previous in the previous lecture i have all i have already introduced this topic to you okay students so i welcome you all to e learning and i am kiran from acs4 rabhata students i hope you are all fine and you are staying safe in your uh, in houses and wherever you are living so you have to follow social distancing while communicating with others and while going into market you should always wear mask and avoid if possible going to market if there is very particular reason then only you should go outside otherwise try to stay in home okay student and you should frequently you make a frequent habit of washing your hands with a soap or a or a good sanitizer okay student and please be please be uh, sanitize properly and keep your your home yourself and your surrounding clean so that we all will fight with this covid 19 and soon we will we will all be on our normal track so student with this i welcome you to e learning and let us start today's topic student if you if just a small recap that we have done in our previous uh, lesson uh, sorry previous lecture student there i have started this chapter synthetic fibers and plastic and there i have said you that the fibers can be obtained either naturally or they are they are synthesized by the human being so they may be natural or they may be synthetic or and man made then there we have learned what is polymer polymer is a long substance it's a chemical synth uh, or it's a long substance which is made up of made up of by combining very small small units and each of the small unit is known as monomer and and an and example of natural polymer that we have read in the previous class was cellulose okay right so polymer we are uh, in today's class we are going to learn some more examples of polymer which are synthetic then in then in the last uh, if you if you remember we have already started with rayon rayon is a synthetic fiber and fiber and there you have asked whether uh, what is the first synthetic fiber synthesized so rayon is the first synthetic fiber uh, fiber that was made by human but it is made uh, it is semi synthetic no problem since it has chemical therefore it is classified as synthetic fiber so rayon is the first synthetic fiber which is synthesized which was synthesized by the man or which is which is human made and it has properties of silk therefore it was it is known as artificial silk students so there i forgot to uh, to show you certain pictures that i have told you that I, at the end of the lesson i will show but i forgot some uh, somehow i forget to uh, show it so uh, now i am showing certain pictures of rayon if it is visible to you student so this is rayon you can see its fiber yes you can see here student this uh, these these are the fibers of rayon and you if you can see its shine the shine is exactly like the silk fiber therefore it is also known as artificial silk and here you can see there is the carpet which is made by by adding by adding cotton to rayon and in this manner the carpets can also be made so students so now going back to my lecture okay students so uh, today we'll uh, we are going to learn about some more synthetic fibers which are nylon polyester and acrylic right so nylon nylon was the first fully synthetic fiber made and it was made in 1931 and all the substances which were used for making nylon were were chemicals so nylon was synthesized by the use of certain chemicals like coal water and air okay so this is the first fully synthetic fiber man made or human made fiber and it was synthesized in 1931 now now we have read about rayon that rayon is artificial silk and it is used for variety of purpose then what is the need of nylon actually the scientists and all the traders and all the and all the uh, all the uh, all the person who were engaged in the business of uh, fabrics or textile industry they were looking for a type of fiber which has which is very very strong and can you imagine 
any fiber which is which is stronger than steel yes it is nylon a, a single thread of nylon is more stronger than even a fiber or a thread of steel so so much strength the nylon has and this is the peculiar property of nylon because of which it has a variety and it, it has a wide variety of uses in our industry so let us see what are the other properties of nylon nylon is very strong as i said you it has a very high strength so it is very strong it is little bit elastic also and it is lightweight it is shiny and it can be dyed into variety of colors very thin fibers since it's a synthetic fiber very thin fibers can be made from nylon so all these property have a variety of uses in the in the market in the industry okay students so a uh, 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 nylon thread is stronger than the steel wire uh, so you should know this because this is very important one mark question okay student so now uh, this nylon uh, this because it has the following properties nylon is also utilized for making rope tent rope tent brush the bristles of the brush okay it can be a tooth brush uh, and it can be a normal painting brush or whatever so the bristles of the brush curtain and parachute and parachute okay so these are the these are some of the uses where nylon is used and because nylon is very very strong therefore the same nylon Uh, nylon fiber is used to make parachute and if you know that by coming down means whenever someone uh, someone takes a jump from the sky towards the earth towards the surface of the earth the parachute comes down with a very high speed so the 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 parachute the material of parachute is nylon and even the the ropes which are used for climbing by, by the mountaineers they are also made from nylon so nylon nylon has so much strength and it is a miraculous fiber and it is the greatest invention by human being okay so now we'll come to the next synthetic fiber which is polyester polyester so it is actually a word which is made by combining two words one is poly poly means many and second one is ester ester is a is a chemical which has a fruity smell and which is made by combining a acid with an alkali Reading it again, ester is a sweet smelling chemical, and it is polyester. And polyester, and the monomer unit of poly polymer uh, polyester is what? It is ester. And polyester has some special characteristic because of which it has a wide variety of uses in the textile industry, in the fiber industry. So, just let us see. actually this polyester it resists the wrinkles so it don't take wrinkles easily so it is free flow so it is used in the fashion industries and at the same time since it resists wrinkles so it is also mixed with cotton or simply the poly polyester is used to make shirts okay shirts and certain fabrics also and it is polyester is a very common fabric which is in the market right then the next uh, property of polyester is that it remains crisp okay it is not very soft it is crispy okay so it retains a particular type of shape for a longer period of time and if it is ideal means if a hot Uh, um, a hot temperature is given to polyester it retains a crease so whenever a type of such fabric is uh, uh, is used by us which where we want to put the crease so there if we iron it the crease remains for a longer period of time if the fabric is made up of if the fabric is made up of polyester okay student so this polyester it is a very important synthetic fiber and two uh, popular types of polyester are available in the market one is terylene so the first 
popular type of polyester which is available in the market is terylene okay it is again a polymer and this terylene the the um, the characteristic of terylene it is both the two characteristics are present in terylene because it is a type of polyester only and it, at the same time it has fine fibers means it can be it uh, means whenever the terylene is taken it can be drawn into very very thin fibers and at the same time it can be woven like yarn so as yarn are made in the similar way terylene can be changed into yarn and may be converted into any design of cloth or dyed into variety of colors so this was about terylene and it is a type of popular polyester another type of polyester is pet this is very important from point of view of your examination this question often comes what is the full form of pet what is pet pet and what are the various uses of pet so student what is pet pet is a familiar form of polyester and its full form is poly poly means many ethylene ethylene uh, ethylene is a chemical which has double bond means two bond between two carbon atoms so uh, poly ethylene and terephthalate terephthalate so polyethylene terephthalate is the full form of pet and poly means many so many units of ethylene tree and terephthalate so this is pet and it is a familiar form of polyester and at the same time this pet it is utilized for it is utilized for making bottles okay plastic bottles are available in the market which are made up of which are made up of pet and a special characteristic of pet is that it is water resistant it can be changed into a transparent one or a opaque one according to our need so it is water resistant and water don't flows out of it because of this pet is very familiar to be used in the market and you may have a pet definitely you will have a pet bottle in your home so after this class just look to the pet bottle and there you will find pet word written if it is of a good quality and a special logo is also made where pet is written so pet is used for making drinking bottles and other plastics also okay and it is can this pet uh, since it can it is used uh, uh, for making bottles it is very good insulator also so it is also utilized for uh, uh, wherever we want the work of insulation okay student so this bottle uh, so pet bottle then utensils are also made with help of pet certain films films are the thin uh, like you have seen the x ray film okay Uh, so that type of films are also made from PET, and certain wires can also be made from PET. So what is PET and terylene? They are the popular form of polyester. So they are a type of polyester only. Okay. So now moving to the next type of synthetic fiber. The next type of synthetic fiber is acrylic. Okay. And you may have seen acrylic word on the on the on the paints and on the colors that you buy from the market. This is the same acrylic. So this acrylic refers to a type of fiber which can be can be changed to variety of a uh, variety of fabric, variety of fibers, and can be changed to variety of substances. So okay here, uh, but we are talking about the acrylic fiber which is used for making wool. actually acrylic has certain characteristic because of which it is used in the market in place of wool and because of that it is also known as artificial wool okay so what is its need just just uh, think and answer me what is the use of artificial wool actually the the use of artificial wool is that the natural wool is which is obtained from sheep or a goat or woolly goat that is very very costly 
okay and a single sweater of natural wool may cost around 1 or 1000 1000 or 1500 or 2000 and much more so this is very expensive for the normal person to buy from market so the merchants and the and the and the person who are engaged in this business they are they were searching for a a type of fiber which can replace the artificial wool and at the same time which can reach to the pockets of the of every individual so their search ended up with acrylic so acrylic has certain properties which is similar to the artificial wool so it retains warm uh, a warmness for a much longer time and it is lightweight also so both the characteristic are fit for making sweaters and blanket therefore it is also known as artificial wool it is very cheap it can be dyed into various colors and many more characteristics which are of synthetic fiber it also holds the same type of characteristic okay so it is little um, uh, it can be woven into threads and it provides warmness then it is lightweight and therefore it can be used for making sweaters pullover blankets and all the all certain type of substances which can be which can be draped to provide warmness during the cold environment okay students now a small topic is given in a small box and that uh, if you buy if you go to market for buying a type of clothes the clothes are available in the market by different different names so these are the different names that you can find in the market so what are these names polycot polywool and terricot so if it is polycot it is mixed by by mixing cotton and polyester poly poly se aaya kya poly for from polywood polyester and cotton is from cotton right then polywool poly for polyester and wool for wool and then terry cot terry for terryline and cot for cotton so these are the type of particular types of fabric which are available in the market by different different names so now we'll move to the slide for so seeing whatever we have learned today by means of certain slides and there we'll find certain pictures that will make you this topic more clear how the synthetic fibers are used for variety of purposes right student so our today's topic is what our today's topic is synthetic fibers and in synthetic fibers we are already we are already done with rayon and now in today's class we are learning about nylon polyester and acrylic and at the last students we will also learn about certain characteristics of synthetic fibers the advantages and disadvantages of the synthetic fibers so this is a certain long uh, class so please be seated and be, uh, be calm it will take a while to move to the slides student if you are seeing this video please mark your attendance by writing present and if you have any doubt please post it so that i can see your doubts and i can uh, clear it at the end of the chapter okay student uh, sorry at the end of this particular topic so student this is the cover slide of today's topic synthetic fibers and plastic and this is lesson 2 and the topic today that we are dealing is this this is a part 2 of lesson 2 synthetic fibers and plastic and i hope i am i am audible to you and you can also see the slide over your uh, your screen so the topic that we are going to uh, study is nylon polyester and acrylic and all the three are what a type of synthet synthetic fiber and one more synthetic fiber we have already learn and that is that is the rayon okay students so now moving to the next slide types of synthetic fibers students this is this picture i have given this flow chart i have i have given just to provide you an idea uh that the just to provide you an idea how uh, what are the types of synthetic fibers which are which are uh, used in the market and which are used in uh, which are in our syllabus so rayon semi synthetic but it is synthetic uh, it has a chemical it is made from chemical therefore it is synthetic nylon polyester and acrylic and the two forms of polyester that we have read today is one is terylene and another one is pet right 
okay now moving to the next slide here uh, i have given this slide just to provide you a comparison between rayon nylon polyester and acrylic so uh, if you have time then after this video just go through through this particular slide just pause the video there after the after the uh, the topic is over and you can see the characteristics of each of the fiber here so nylon i have discussed these all i have discussed just i have provided you slides so that you can uh, go through these slide this type particular slide so this is a comparison between rayon nylon polyester and acrylic now moving to the next slide here the there are four types of fibers shown you and all of them are synthetic fibers and they are from your syllabus only first one nylon then rayon then polyester and then terylene and terylene is a type of polyester only okay now moving to the next slide here properties of nylon properties of nylon you can see that nylon fibers are very strong they are elastic they are lightweight lustrous easy to wash and dry and nylon thread is stronger even than the steel wire and because of this it has a variety of uses so you can see uses of nylon i have given certain pictures so that it becomes clear toothbrush then fishing net um, then this uh, rope you can see different colors of rope then sleeping bag then socks the socks are also made by using nylon then car seat belts and curtains and tents are also used by mares tents are also made by using nylon now moving to the next slide here since nylon fiber is very very strong therefore it is used to make parachute and ropes for climbing and this picture i have taken from your ncert book because there it is given near the place where nylon fiber is mentioned okay students so you can see a a man using parachute and a man is climbing the mountain and the rope which the man is using is what it is made from nylon moving to the next slide the next synthetic fiber is polyester so the third fiber that we are studying synthetic fiber first we read about rayon then nylon and then polyester so polyester it the properties are that it resists wrinkles okay and it remain crisp it is easy to wash and wear springs back to shape means when if you stretch it and just if you leave it it will again come it comes to its original shape so it retains its shape and the right amount of heat can be used to permanently heat set a crease or a plate if you want to make a pleat then if you put a uh, put certain heat by uh, by pressing it by using iron then a a plate a crease or a pleat is made on the polyester the next one terylene it's a popular polyester see polyester is what it is a polymer whose monomers are linked together by ester bonds and while terylene is a polymer polyethylene terephthalate used for making thread and cloth terylene is a synthetic polyester fiber produced by polymerizing polymerizing is the process of producing polymer for polymerizing ethylene glycol and terephthalic acid so i have told you that esters are the substances which are made by combining a alcohol and an acid so ethylene glycol and terephthalic acid which is obtained from petroleum so the fiber was first created in 1941 by chemist j r winfield okay student moving to the next slide okay the next popular form of polyester is pet so what is pet it is a familiar form of polyester it is used for making bottles utensils film wires and etc so this pet you can see a variety of uses there the pet used for making pet 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 granules pet and pet PETE both are same granules you can see the, these granules may be used for a variety of purpose then drinking bottles you can see the soft drink comes in the in the bottles and the bottles are made up of PET because it is of good quality then certain containers are also used 
and one more thing that i have told you is that it is also it has a water resistant and insulation property because of which it is used for wall insulation so it is you can see in the diagram it is uh, used as a insulation between the bricks okay then micro the the trays that you, you that you use in microwave there they are also made up of pt then containers then fabrics and then carpets also they are all made up of pt and you can there, there i have provided one logo also on the on the lower side this is the logo and one is written one it means type 1 pt which is which is the most uh, means it it is uh, this type of pt is it is of good quality and used for making the plast the type of containers which are used for uh, can which can be used for keeping the e tables also now the fabrics are sold by the following names you can when you go to the market you can find fabrics by different different names so what are these fabrics polycot which is mixed by polyester and cotton poly wool made by using pol polyester and wool and terricot which is a fabric made from terrilene and cotton and it is made by 65% of cotton and 35% of terrilene okay student so let us move to the next slide here acrylic okay so acrylic fiber closely res closely resembles the look and feel of the wool fibers you cannot you will not differentiate uh, it means you will be unable to differentiate a natural wool with a synthetic wool if acrylic is in front of you because it has so much similar properties as we compare with the with the natural wool acrylic fibers is lightweight warm soft to touch it is thus used in place of wool or blended with wool acrylic fibers are synthetic fibers made from polymer i have written the name of the polymer if you need it then acrylic fiber is often used for sweater track suit lining of boots boots the lining of boots to provide warmness the acrylic can be used there gloves are made carpets then then the then sweaters then blanket they are all made from from acrylic as well as in furnishing fabrics and carpet so these are the uses of acrylic okay now this is the last topic i have also included after the after ending all the synthetic fibers i have also inclu included the properties of synthetic fiber in this class only so what are the properties that we have learnt in the synthetic fibers first you should know from what is the source of making synthetic fiber actually synthetic fibers are made from a class of substance and the name of the class of substance are petrochemicals so petrochemicals are the chemicals product which are obtained by petroleum by refining so when petroleum is purified many substances we can get out of it and these substances are used for making the synthetic fibers so what are these substances known as these substances are known as petrochemicals and it is one of the important keywords from this lesson okay so petrochemicals are used for making synthetic fibers they are durable and inexpensive so synthetic synthetic fibers are durable they can be carried from one place to another they are lightweight and they are inexpensive they are smooth they are soft it is very easy to maintain as compared to the natural fibers because they don't they are not frequently attacked by the microbes so it is very easy to maintain them then they can be easily washed and dried and can be easily dried into various colors they don't wrinkle easily and they are affordable which makes them more popular than the natural fibers so they are they can reach every pocket because because they are very cheap moving to the last slide i think this is the second last slide means the last slide so we'll see quickly we'll see what are the advantages and the disadvantages of using synthetic fibers so advantages they do not shrink they are quickly drying because their fibers are very very near to it so they do they absorb very less water from the they absorb very less water therefore they dry quickly and they need very less little or no airing they last longer as compared to the fabrics made from natural fibers okay so they are long lasting also and the dis let us see the disadvantage and there is very important question from this this from this disadvantage topic i will 
I will uh, uh, I will dictate the uh, important question from this disadvantage topic. So first, let us see what are the disadvantages. So the disadvantages are that synthetic fibers do not absorb water or sweat. Synthetic fibers melt on heating and burn easily. So they absorb very less water and sweat and they melt on heating and burn easily and this is the important disadvantage of synthetic fibers that whenever they get a slight amount of heat they melt and with a very small burning point they catches fire immediately. The third point, synthetic fibers on catching fire shrink and sticks to the skin. Therefore, it is not as advisable to use clothes made from synthetic fibers while working near flame fire such as in kitchen. Okay, students, so this is the important question. Why you should advise... Uh, why it is advised that mothers or the person who are working in kitchen should not wear a synthetic fiber why because synthetic fibers they catch fire very easily and they shrink and when they start shrinking they melt and they shrink on the body and they because of this they easily stick to, to the skin and they take off the skin of the person who has catched fire so you should always after this class you should advise your mother to wear the cotton clothes while working in the kitchen as a precautionary measure okay so the it is therefore it is not adv advisable to use clothes made from synthetic fibers while working near flame fire such as in kitchen and the last uh, disadvantage is the last disadvantage is synthetic fibers are non-biodegradable. Therefore, they cause soil pollution. Since they are non-biodegradable, therefore, they cause soil pollution. Non-biodegradable degradable means they cannot be changed into very, very small substances which are, which are useful to the environment. So, uh, actually, they are synthetic fibers are non-biodegradable substances which, which do not change into useful substances and they remain harmful also even after breaking therefore they are a source of soil pollution also okay students so these are the advantages and disadvantages of the synthetic fibers so so now we have completed all the slides and moving to the uh, to your doubts and just a small recap just a small recap that we'll do at the end of this topic and student i hope that you have enjoyed this this lesson you have time just post your doubt so that i can take your doubts and if you hesitate to post your doubt here then you can put your doubt in the comment section box so that i can see after the class also okay student so be ready with your doubts and this is the this is the part two that we have covered so the doubts that I can see on the slide, uh, let me see your doubts. Ni uh, the first doubt by Samita Palo, nylon becomes stronger due to amide bond. See nylon, nylon is uh, nylon is made by uh, using polyamide. You are right also, and the bond the bond becomes stronger due to amide. This is not a question. You have also already answered it. Okay. So no put uh, um, then why nylon wire is so stronger nylon wire is very strong because it is made from certain chemicals which have a very uh, means which have which have bond which have bonds between the carbon atoms which are which cannot be easily broken down and nylon is more from polyamide which have stronger bonds between the two two amides and amide is a type of chemical okay um, the next is Kana Shukla, synthetic fibers soak less more water than the natural fiber, uh, fabric. Actually, uh, students, synthetic fibers soak less water than the natural fabric. And this I have already discussed. Uh, why? Because the fibers of synthetic fibers, they are very close to each other. So, there is very less gapping between the fibers and therefore they soak less amount of water and they dry up quickly. 
and the next question is asked by kana shukla what is the characteristic properties of plastic students plastic is our next topic so we'll uh, we have to study plastic in a detail so they will learn about the characteristic properties of plastic so that is our next topic students okay so they will see this answer then ma'am all synthetic fibers are made from chemicals yes synthetic means it is uh, it is man made and man made means it is uh, man made fiber it means that the use of certain chemical fibers rayon is a synthetic fiber which is semi synthetic because it has one natural component also and that is the the fibers of wood okay so therefore uh, wood pulp is also used for making nylon and so nylon is semi synthetic whereas all the synthetic fibers they are made from certain chemicals then uh so okay the next question ma'am we wrote, uh, write notes from the chapter student we ha i have already uh, already instructed you to write uh, that whatever um, the worksheet that you are getting from the society you have to complete it and if you are already done this chapter then no need to do it again and if you have not written this chapter please try to make notes out of the worksheet uh, out of the modules that you have received from the society and we are also providing you continuously all the the um, the literature of this particular topic and we are also providing you the the keywords and the definition so wherever you feel comfortable from there you can write the notes from this chapter okay then ma'am we can write question and answers from the chapter yes you can write the, you have to definitely you have to write the text uh, textbook question and answer which are at the end of the chapter is writing notes in notebook necessary rinku gupta ma'am has asked this question <laughs> yes uh, is uh, you have to write ma'am it is uh, necessary to write the question and answers in the notebook and notes you have to write only those which are not covered in the question and answer or in the keywords okay then um actually ma'am by which chemical is acrylic made up of see student uh, this acrylic it mean acrylic is made from poly acrylo nitrile okay student so this this question is asked and the question is what is the chemical which is made which is used to make acrylic and poly acrylo nitrile is the substance which is used to make acrylic okay then okay so i think i have taken all the doubts actually the question was asked by the daughter of ma'am okay so i have i think i have uh, uh, taken all the question that you have asked so student let me end this topic and we'll meet again we'll meet again in the next video um and there will will uh, there i will take the next topic there i will there i will uh, take the next topic that is plastic and that will be the part three of this lesson synthetic fibers and plastic so thank you and we'll join again